What is up and welcome back. We are your Ammo Coast Relocation Team Pete and Trent Smart over here. And what we're gonna be talking about is whether or not Milton, Florida is the next hotspot. Let's go. First things first, let's kind of go over where is Milton, Florida, because we have only done one video on this, pretty much just outline a few of the cities that are outside Pensacola. Pensacola is that main hub that we always kind of relate to. Milton, you're looking at probably a little over 30 minutes to Pensacola, we're talking about downtown Pensacola. If we're going over to Pensacola Beach, you're looking at more like 40 minutes. So it's not too far, there are some stuff. We are gonna give you our opinion at the end of this video, whether or not we think that this will be the hot spot. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. The first thing that I wanna cover is how naturally beautiful uh, Milton, Florida is. Oh yeah, man, there's all kinds of wooded areas out yeah. here, lots of rivers and streams, uh, great places to be outdoors. Pensacola is great, but it has gotten more populated over time. So if you're kind of looking to get out of that, come out here and be in the wilderness, Milton's a great place to be. Yeah, it's I, it blew my mind. I've only been here maybe one other time, but kind of driving through here, usually what you do is you just drive through, right? When you are going out to the Emerald Coast, which is the majority of the areas that we do cover, you just drive through Milton. You really don't get to experience it as much. So coming here to this little downtown area and they have this Blackwater River right here, it's super fantastic. It looks like they have a little veteran memorial right over, I guess it'd be to your left, my right, right over here. Um, but it's just it's, it's gorgeous here the humidity does seem like it's a little bit more extreme here as opposed to being right on the Emerald Coast but overall it's not that bad the second thing that we wanted to dive into in regards to Milton is the downtown here now what we did when we first parked is we wanted we were trying to figure out a spot to record the thing about it is you have Highway 90 that's just go runs right alongside the downtown area and it was a little loud over there but I will say that it was an awesome looking little downtown does that have a factor when talking about whether or not it's gonna be a hot spot wait around to the end of the video and we will let you know what our thoughts are on that. It kind of reminds me of a few of these like small downtowns that were back in Colorado and they like have this kind of like rich like histories type of uh, feeling to it. Yeah, there's lots of history down here. Um, it is a much smaller town. It's not gonna be near as big as Pensacola. It's yeah. got a real small town vibe, but a lot of cool architecture down here. A lot of old buildings. Uh, some of them have been revamped. Some of them look like they might be here soon. Yeah. A lot of little local shops and eateries to go in and um, this little river walk we're sitting at that leads right up to it. The third thing that we're gonna be talking about in regards to Milton, Florida, and as you can see outdoors, getting a little hot over here. You can probably see a little bit of sweat on my shirt, but all the awesome activities. That we, as we were driving here, Trent was kind of telling me a little bit about the stuff that, that him and his family like to do when going around the Milton area and all the activities that we have here. Yeah, um, I'm one of those people, I don't sit still well, I stay very active, and so for me, um, you know, lots of stuff to do at the beach, but I love to come out to Milton to hit the trails, to hit the rivers. Yeah. Um, you can go kayaking out here. This is Blackwater State Park out here, which um, lots of hiking trails to go through, and then there's also a couple places um, and businesses out here that you can do that with. Uh, yeah. There's a place that I like to go called Bob's, yeah. Bob's Canoe Rentals. Uh, you can go rent tubes, canoes for the day, float down the river. Um, another place called Coldwater Gardens, it's a great camping place, you can take the family out you can choose from glamping tents to tiny homes or cabins um, whatever you'd like to do out there spend the weekend spend the day uh, there's rivers that run through there and then those rivers have sandbars that act like little mini beaches you can post up with your cooler in your chair you can sit there like you're on the beach yeah so when we left Colorado we had a camper out there I kind of wish I would have kept it after hearing a few of these stories about the different kind of camping that they have outside of Milton just something I really didn't know I thought hey I'm moving to Florida I'm gonna be by the beach I'll be at the beach all the time don't need a camper now I kind of regret selling that camper so I could have taken advantage of some of those cold water camping that they have here in Milton. The fourth thing that we're gonna be covering in regards to Milton is there's a huge sense of community here. How y'all doing? Good, good how, how you doing? doing? 
we were walking through, there was like signs like protect Blackwater River. Um, there was also like a poster talking about springtime, like uh, concert events that happened. I think you said it was on Friday nights. Yeah, bands on the Blackwater, Friday nights, uh, I believe through May and June down here, right on Blackwater River. You know, bring a chair, bring your cooler, sit down and listen to some live music on Friday nights down here. Yeah, and I'll give you some B-roll too, like where we're sitting at by the River Rock. It's actually super awesome. The river's right here. They have this huge boardwalk, an actual boardwalk that goes right alongside the river. Awesome, we'll show you, pop in some B-roll, that way you can see what this river looks like. All right, the fifth and final thing that we're gonna be covering in regards to Milne, before we bring in our opinions, whether or not we think this is gonna be the next hotspot outside of the Emerald Coast, is the fact that it's family friendly. Actually, as we were walking up here to the boardwalk, there's a sign, you know, it says, no skateboarding, no alcohol, kind of your typical stuff, and it said, no profanity. I am not used to that. I'm not sure if it's because we are in the Bible Belt. Like I said, I'm from Denver, Colorado, where you won't see anything like that whatsoever. Also, we are part of Santa Rosa County uh, School District over here. Yeah, Santa Rosa County Schools, uh, you're looking good anywhere in the county. Um, you know, when you compare it to Escambia County Schools, you get much better ratings over here in Santa Rosa County Schools, and all the Milton schools are part of the Santa Rosa County School System. Correct me if I'm wrong here. So I think all three counties kind of line up going over to the Emerald Coast. So you got, you know, Santa Rosa County that goes down, Okaloosa County, and Escambia, I guess kind of ends a little bit in Pensacola. It goes over to Pensacola Beach or... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah Escambia County starts with Pensacola on the Alabama border there, and then as you cross the bridge and get over into the areas of Pace, Milton, Gulf Breeze, then we're in Santa Rosa County. County and then moving over into Okaloosa County towards Fort Walton. So the, the, the pretty much the schools that you're going to be experiencing here are the same schools that you're going to experience over in like we say Golf Breeze all the time, right? I was talking about the great schools over in Golf Breeze. Of course, they're not going to be the same exact schools, but you are going to be a part of that same school county. All right, so you hung around this long. What we're going to be talking about is whether or not we think this is going to be the next hotspot. I do see the bones. I see there being potential for this blowing up like crazy. Uh, you were telling me a few reasons also why that goes about it a little bit more logically as to why this might blow up outside of just the, the small town charm that I see. Yeah, the way I look at it, I think there's a lot of potential for this place to blow up. Um, you know, when, you, when we're talking about Pensacola, Pensacola has gotten very, very large. And as you make your way east, you know, you come into Pace. Um, a few years ago, Pace started popping off. Pace is doing great, but it's also kind of gotten populated. And the next step is Milton. You know, you come out here, you get a little more bang for your buck when you're shopping for properties. You usually get a little bit more of a lot. Um, you know, build, buildings right, aren't right on top of each other where you're having, you know, neighbors share property lines so close together. And then you also have the school system, which we talked about earlier. Yep. You know, people seeking out that that's, uh, Santa Rosa County school system, people speaking out a little more, seeking out a little more space uh, and the ability to get a little bit more house. Um, I, I do think Milton is a little more affordable and I think it's going to pop here pretty soon. So what are we talking about? We're talking about sales prices. So usually what we do is we cover your median sales price. These numbers are going to be as of June of 2023. You got a median sales price of $310,000. Usually I break that up to where you have your single family and your multifamily, but there was literally no multifamily here in, in Milton. So something to look at, you're looking at $310,000 uh, median sales price. And that's actually down year over year, 4.4%. So we'll kind of see what happens, see if it does blow up with pace overflowing into Milton. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this is content that you do love, do us a huge favor hit that subscribe button maybe give us a thumbs up a little notification bell that you're notified every single time that we put out a brand new video also if you are looking at personal real estate here in the emerald coast and some of the outlying cities give us a call or text the phone number right below right below right there we answer it doesn't matter day or time till next time we love you bye